All right, Miss Thang. I want you to raise just one arm like this. Cool. You can actually hold your shirt for me, like right there. That'll be perfect. Okay. The shirt is hot. I know, right? Oh, boys. I know. Yeah, exactly. So, if it's cool with you, I want to have Mary come by, and I want her to sign the rib cage, and then you can just tattoo over it. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. I'll leave like a space for her. Yeah, or just tell her where okay. to put it when she gets here. All right. It's important for me to make my tattoos like fit the client's body as best as possible. And I think with Alicia's body, it was really cool to get the, the feathers to like flow across her ribs and onto her back. Stand right there. And then if you put your arm back up, like, there you go, cool. Sick. Awesome. I'm excited. Cool, let's do it. Let's rock it out. So what's up with Miss Crane? Do you guys know each other for a long time? 14 years. Really? Has she always been your best friend? Uh, since my freshman year in high school, yeah. We were in theater together, and we were instantly best friends. And now that it's been 13, 14 years, she is the only person that has stuck by my side through all my <laughs> growing up. When's uh, your friend coming in here? I don't know. Maybe we should call her. What, can't you guys read each other's minds? Hold on. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> and she miraculously walks through the door. <gasps> oh my god, it's Mary. <laughs> <laughs> she makes me believe there's soulmates out there. It just works. It's a perfect partnership. You know, like when you meet someone and you're like, you don't even have to try. My best friend Rianne is like that, and I love her. Pixie, yeah. who's your best friend? Have I met your best friend before? I have like five of them. No, 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 no. Your best friend. Who's my best friend? Leanne. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call her. We'll call her right now. So the reason I'm getting this tattoo is because Mary has cancer. What? I'm what? just going to throw up, that in there. What? Yeah, she what has cancer. That? She has non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, what second time. Cancer of the B cells, attacks the lymph nodes. Lexi and I and Alicia were like talking about best friends and just like all the cool things you do with your friends and all that good stuff. And then all of a sudden she drops the cancer bomb. I think things like this, even though they're tragic, they're just like reminders to like live life to the fullest and like, you know, not take for granted the people around you. Is she okay, okay? Um, this is her second time and the first time it took two years of like bed rest and it was just really miserable. So she's not really gonna treat it. She's just gonna live with it. Dealing with the fact of every day of knowing that I could lose her at any minute is really frightening. So that's kind of like, it's not necessarily a memorial, but it's like a tribute to how much she means to me. It's her time. You didn't tell that did. part. I know. Now we're all sad. I know. I know. We were all having such a good time. But we can, because you know, you'll meet her and you'll love her. <gasps> there she is. Oh, I just got butterflies. Yeah! Hi! Look what she Betsy. got for you. Oh my god. That's for you. We went off today about how much we love our best friends. Oh, that's beautiful. I love her. She loves you. Thank you, bestie. Mary saw my tattoo. I saw the shock in her eyes. Because no one's ever done anything like this for her to like say, hey, I'm gonna put this ink in my body for the rest of my life with your signature on it because that's how close I want you to be with me as often as possible. I can't believe you did this. That's how much I love you. All right, Miss Thang, go check it out. <gasps> oh my God. You love it? Wow. I love how it goes onto the back too. Yeah, it just kind of like flows with like your body. That is so, so beautiful. I love that Mary's signature is in red and the head of the bird has a red stripe. And also the way that she positioned it to my body, it just, it fits so perfectly. I don't know how much farther I can go, but I will continue going as far as I can to validate how much I love that girl. Wherever we are in the world, I will always look at this tattoo and just think of good memories, hugging her, her smile. I would just always think of our friendship and how magical it is.